Hi, this is Amr Abdi Gawad. I'm going to discuss in this lecture the Ortolani test. So what are the objectives of this lecture? We'd like to describe the appropriate method of performing the Ortolani test and we're going to show a video for a positive result for Ortolani test. A good source that you can use to read more about um, uh, Ortolani and Parlos test and DDH is this book which is Pediatric Orthopedics Handbook for Primary Care Physician written by myself and Dr. Naga. Also, I encourage you to uh, see the video for the DDH explaining everything in this condition and the other video for the Barlow's test. So what is the idea of the Ortolani test? So the Ortolani test is done to, to assess if the hip is dislocated or not. Uh, so this is the, the correct way of performing the Ortolani. So the examiner holds uh, the leg. Uh, the infant's uh, knee is in the examiner palm. Um, the examiner thumb is on the medial aspect. The four fingers are on the lateral aspect. Uh, and then both feet are held together. But the exam is done one uh, leg at a time. So the examiner is holding now uh, the, uh, the patient's left uh, leg. And he's going to do the exam. So uh, it's two maneuvers. Uh, the first one is abduction, which means that you're bringing uh, the leg outward. And then the second maneuver is an anteriorly directed for, uh, force from these four fingers. So it is um, uh, two uh, uh, movement in the same time. The first movement is abduction, which means bringing uh, the leg outward. And then the other movement is anteriorly directed force uh, from these four fingers to assess if you can uh, relocate the hip or not. So the examiner holds um, both um, leg. Uh, the exam is done one leg at a time. Two uh, maneuvers, abduction and anteriorly directed um, uh, force. The idea is to, uh, to see if you can relocate the dislocated hip or not. A uh, positive result is a clunk. It means that you feel that the hip is going out um, uh, from out of the hip to in the uh, acetabulum. So a uh, positive result is a clunk and not click because a click is a normal finding. Uh, the positive result is you will feel that the hip is going from outside the acetabulum to inside the acetabulum. Uh, this picture shows us the uh, difference between the Barlow and the Ortolani test. Remember, the Barlow test um, is you'd like to see if the head is subluxable or not. What does this mean? You'd like to see if you can dislocate uh, a subluxable head. So the, uh, the Barlow maneuver is you're actually a reverse of the Ortolani. So you're adducting, which means that you're bringing uh, the leg inward and then you're pushing uh, posteriorly uh, with the, your whole uh, palm to see if you feel that the head is coming out, uh, the head of the femur is coming out of the acetabulum or not. Ortolani um, is the reverse. Ortolani, you'd like to see if the hip is dislocated or not. So you're starting with a dislocated head and then you're going to do, as we said, two maneuvers abduction and then you push with the four fingers uh, you're pushing uh, the head of the femur anteriorly to see if you are if you can relocate uh, the hip or not so again with the barlow maneuver you're starting with the hip in and you'd like to see if you can get it out of the hip or not so you'd like to see if this if the hip is subluxable or not in the ortolani on the other hand you're starting with the hip dislocated and you'd like to see if you can relocate the hip in both of these the positive result is a clunk and not click which is the feeling of the hip going out and in of the joint so again, last time, Ortolani, you're starting with the hip dislocated out of the joint. You abduct, push the, um, the femur anteriorly with the four fingers to see if you can relocate uh, the dislocated head. So we'll present this video now that shows a positive result with uh, or the Ortolani test. If you see, I'm holding here the both sides, but we do the exam in one side only at a time. So the infant's knee is in my palm. The thumb is on the medial aspect, the four fingers are on the lateral aspect, and you do two maneuvers. You abduct means that you bring the leg outward, and with the other fingers you push the uh, trochanter and the whole uh, hip uh, to the anterior direction from uh, uh, the lateral side. So here, see I'm abducting, and with this finger I'm pushing the leg uh, anteriorly, and if you see when we do that, the, you can see obviously that the hip goes into position. Let's repeat uh, that part again. Here it is. I'm holding it, abducting, pushing with these fingers, and you see that the hip went inside the joint now. The head of the femur went inside the acetabulum, and you can see uh, this when this happens. 
uh, usually the result is not that obvious the positive result is uh, a clunk that you feel the clunk clunk mean that you feel the head of the femur going inside the acetabulum uh, in most of the cases not that obvious but the positive result is a uh, is a clunk not a click click is a normal finding if you feel a click you have to feel the head of the femur going into the acetabulum uh, as you can uh, uh, see it here again it's n it's not uh, usually that obvious but what you're looking for is that feeling that the head of the femur is going to the acetabulum see i'm now holding the leg abducting pushing with these fingers anteriorly and if you see here the hip went into the acetabulum again ab abduction pushing anteriorly and it went now into the acetabulum this is another uh, 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 video showing a positive uh, ortolani test if you see here i'm holding the child as we said the knee is in the palm the thumb is on the medial aspect the lateral four fingers are on the lateral aspect you hold both legs but you do the test on one side only so here it is i'm holding the leg doing first the barlow test and then i'm doing the ortolani so i'm abducting and then pushing uh, with these four fingers pushing the leg anteriorly and if you see here when i abduct you see that the uh, you can feel that the he head is going into the acetabulum it was dislocated yes you can i'm going to repeat that part it was head dislocated and then with abduction here it is it went inside the acetabulum so this maneuver the positive result as we said um, is a clunk and it's not a click here it is and you will feel it if you do the test many times and then if you have a child with a dislocated hip and you do it uh, correctly you will feel the clunk sensation thank you very much all my videos are for educational purpose only please consult your doctor before any decision thank you